Hello everyone, welcome back. This is your friend SG and in this video, we will see how we can send emails using Node.js. Okay. In this part, we will only be doing the backend. Next part of this video will be coming soon where we will be integrating this backend to the frontend form. Once the user fills the form on the frontend, all the data will be sent to their emails. Okay. So let's begin the video. The very first thing we will do is we will initialize this project with npm. Okay. npm init. This is the command. Okay. So this creates a package.json file. Okay. We don't have to do anything in this file. Now we'll be creating a index.js file. Okay. This is the file where we'll be starting the backend part. So in order to begin, we will need to install two packages. First is express. Uh, actually, it's not a package though. And uh, second one is a node mailer. The node mailer is the one which we'll be using to send the emails. Okay. So sorry, I missed the word install. The command is npm install and the package name. Okay. So npm install express and node mailer. Okay, so both the packages are installed. Once these are done, a node modules folder will be created. Okay, so let's import both of them to our project. Uh, const it will be require express and same will be with the node builder. Okay, now we'll define the port on which our app will be running. Okay, the backend will be running. So let's say it will be 8080. You can use anything uh, 5000, 3000. Okay. These are some common ones. Now we need to make our backend listen to this port. For that, we'll be using app.listen and then we'll specify the port. It also uh, takes a callback function. If everything works fine, then we'll console log server started on port and the port. Okay. Yeah. Now, in order to run this, file index.js we need to run the command node index.js okay so yeah it specified that server started on port 8080 okay yeah so now our backend is running on 8080 port so now firstly we will do two three things so we will use node mailer dot create transport okay this uh, accepts two or three different things firstly it's the service uh, we are using gmail so we specify service as gmail second it accept uh, tls uh, reject And the next one, it takes the auth parameters. Here we need to send the user that is the email and the password. Okay. It, uh, here we need to send the email from which we are going to send send the mails and the password of that email. So So now once the transporter is created, now we need to send the mail. So for that we we'll need to use node mailer dot. Okay, sorry, not node mailer. Uh, let's uh, use a variable here. Transporter. Okay. Yeah. So we'll be using transporter dot send mail, and here we'll be sending the options. Firstly, we'll send the options, and second, it again requires a callback where it takes error and the response. Okay. So if there is an error, then console log the error. The error message that we got. Otherwise, console log mm, mail sent with the response that we are getting. Okay. So now in the send mail, we are going to send the options. First one is from the email. Oh, mm, okay. Second one is the to the email to which we need to send the mail. Third one is the subject of the email. Okay, so and last one is the text. The text that we need to send in the email. Okay, so okay, this is it. Uh, the project is done. Now, in order to for this to work, we need to again run the command node space index.js. But before that, we have to do one thing. We have to go to myaccount.google.com slash less secure apps. So now Google has a by default property, uh, let's not say it a property, anything that you wish. It doesn't allow the third party apps to use the emails. So see, let's secure apps access. Okay. So the access is by default bad. It's off. We need to make this option on in order to send the emails. Okay. Make sure that you are uh, making this option on for the email from which you need to send the emails. Okay. In my case, I am using codes.sg at the rate gmail.com. So 
I am going to on this option for that email only. Okay. This is the most important part. Also, one more thing: if you have two-factor authentication, two-step authentication on your email, then you won't get this option. So, in order to get this option, you'll have to first disable the two-step authentication. Then only you'll get this option. Okay. So now let's see. We run this command again, and see, we got mail sent. Now let's see the email. We didn't receive the email. Okay, I'm uh, sorry. I misspelled here the email. It should be at the rate gmail.com. My mistake, sorry. We'll again run this command. And uh, yeah, we got mail sent. And uh, yeah, here we are. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. See, we got this email. Test mail from SD codes. And the subject is test mail. See, yeah. So this is the mail that we were sending. Okay, we have successfully sent the email from one mail to the another. Make sure that you make the option on for the email that you want to send this. Okay, the email from that you are using. This is it for this video. In the second part, we'll be at, uh, integrating this backend to the front end, where we'll be sending all the data from the front end to the email of the user. Okay, so stay tuned to the channel, share this video with your friends, and go hit the like button. Okay, thank you. Tata, bye bye.